for four standard and the today's topic is the new topic that is do all the four star so let us uh, read the lesson and we will come to know the story here so turn to page number eighty children so the heading is do all the four star so let me read the lesson you follow the page for open and explicit and you follow the lines when I am reading the four star known as do all the four India. The pole star, known as Rotara in India, is an important shining star. It is known as the important shining star. Why it is uh, very important? Why it is called as an uh, important uh, shining star? It serves as a guide. It serves as a guide to travelers in remote forests and sailors at sea in the dead of night. Okay. It serves as a guide to travelers. So when they are traveling, so by seeing the star, they used to travel and they can easily reach the destination. Okay. So like this, it serves as a guide to the travelers and the sailors actually in the red of night. But how did the star come by this name? But how did the star come by this name? Here is an interesting legend about its origin. Okay. Here is, here is an interesting legend about its origin. So this is also an imaginary story. So let us read and we will come to know. This is the story how for the name as Rua. Okay. Long long ago they lived a king named Uttana Pada. Long long ago they lived a king named by Uttana Pada. His name was Uttara Pada. He had two queens, Suniti and Suruchi. Suniti and Suruchi. He had two queens, Suniti and Suruchi. Suniti was the elder queen and Suruchi was the younger queen. The elder queen was a quiet and gentle lady. How was the elder queen? She was quiet and gentle lady. But Suruchi was selfish, arrogant and cunning. Arrogant means one who behaves in an unpleasant way. Okay. Suruchi was selfish, arrogant and cunning. However, because of her beauty and charm, the king was partial to Suruchi. Partial means bias. Okay, partial means bias. Always he used to do partial between the queens. Because the Suruchi was beautiful, so always he used to take her side of it. Okay. So like this, so that is not called bias, right? So because of her beauty and charm, the king was partial to Suruchi. Suniti had a son, his name was Dhruva. Suniti had a son, his name was Dhruva. And uh, even uh, so, so, Suniti's son was Dhruva and Suniti also had a son. His name was Uttama. His name was Uttama. Not content with her pomp and power, Suniti had Suniti and Dhruva managed from the royal palace. So Suniti was, uh, we know how Suniti was. She was selfish, arrogant, cunning, isn't it? So she was not, uh, she was not happy with whatever she was having there. So even she wanted more. So what she did, she banished the her way that is Suniti and her son from the palace. Even the king did not uh, say anything there because always he used to uh, take Suniti's side now. So what she did, not content with the pomp and power, everything she was having, but still what she did, she made Suniti and Dhruva to go away from the palace. So that is banished means order to leave the palace. Order to leave the palace. So that her son uh, Uttama, uh, Uttama, sorry, sir, so Suruchi's son Uttama uh, might succeed to the throne. That is what happened. That is that was her idea. Otherwise, Suruchi's son would have become the king now after Uttama Pada. So what was her idea? Suruchi wanted her son to be to succeed the throne there. So she made them to go away from the royal palace. Then what happens? Let's see here. Suniti lived on the outskirts of the city with her son like a commoner. Then Suniti, as she was quiet and gentle lady, she did not speak anything. Along with her son, where she went, she went and she was uh, she lived in the outskirts of the uh, outskirts of the city with her son like a common people, like a commoner, like a uh, common people. And, uh, no one knew that she was a queen like that. She was living in the outskirts of the city there. The king was so enamored, okay. The king was so enamored, children, liking something a lot. Enamored means liking something a lot. The king was uh, so enamored of Suruchi that he did not even care to visit them. 
Okay, he did not care to visit them. He did not care about his uh, elder wife and son. He was so uh, liking someone means he was uh, liking Sudhuchi so much that he did not care for his elder um, wife, elder queen and son. He did not uh, go and visit them once also. So then what happens? Little Dhruva loved his mother very much. Little Dhruva loved his mother very much. However, his heart yearned for his father's love which was denied to him. Little Dhruva loved his mother very much. But however, his heart yearned for his father's love which was denied to him. So, he was feeling uh, he wanted to see his father even though uh, he loved his mother very much. When he loved his father also, he wanted, his, he wanted him to visit once, uh, once and he wanted to see him. But uh, her, even her mother does not want, her, want him to go there. He wondered, my father is a king, then why do my mother and I live away from the palace? So he was wondering, my father is king, but why do we live in the forest like this, along with my mother? Why are we why away from the palace? Even though my uh, father is a king, why do we are living here in the forest?